our ships. This is going beyond madness. Then I'm not backing down. Send out a recall order immediately. Are you okay? Bad dreams, that's all. Sit down. Hold on. Thanks. Anything you want to talk about? Not really. Okay. We'll be landing in about half an hour or so. Perhaps real air will help? I know it's not quite the same as what you've been through, but when my parents died, I had a hard time coping with it. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. I'm saying that, unlike me, you don't have to face it alone. I'd better see how Adam is doing. How we doing? We're right on time. Great. I told Catherine we'd be there soon. I'm a bit worried about her. What's wrong? I think she's been having bad dreams again. It's to be expected after what she's been through. Unidentified vessel. State your designation and purpose for approaching a restricted planet. This is the transport ship Nightingale. We're bringing supplies for your facility. Supplies? Stand by. We are transmitting coordinates for you to land. Await further instructions before disembarking. That was odd. Must be some sort of security procedure. It is a prison after all. What a desolate planet. Yeah, it's a real dump. Nightingale, am I correct in assuming that your cargo hold can be sealed against the rest of the ship? That's right. Why? We'd like you to seal it and remain inside your ship at all times. We'll have our own people unload the cargo. Can I ask why? You are ordered to seal your hold against the rest of your ship and remain inside at all times. Comply or we will take you and your ship into custody. Uh, stand by. Okay, I agree. Something's very odd here. I don't even want to open the hold without knowing what's going on. Prison riot? Could be. I can help. Oh? Yeah, I'm good at accessing computer systems remotely. I can do that here. I say go for it. Seems we have no choice. Go ahead. Here we go. That's it, we're leaving. What about the supplies? I'm not letting some sort of alien virus on the ship or near you. We'll be sealed inside, and besides, they say it's only attacking plant life. The people have been fine. Your safety is more important to me than anything else. That's sweet, and I love you, but we can't let these people starve. They'll survive. You don't know that. I can't let these people die on the off chance I might get a cold. I hate it when you get all noble. That's why you married me. Oh, don't remind me. I love you too. If you're done, I'm going to make a copy of these records. The warden wants this thing kept quiet, but I think future supply ships need to know. I hope you'll wait until after we leave before sending them off to SPC. So we're staying? For now. Catherine, keep an eye on the situation.
Have our best scientists, doctors, and botanists woken and brought in at once. It seems the spyware you installed on the Nightingale's computer has served an unexpected purpose. Problem? Some sort of biological contamination on La Bianca. Is there a danger of it spreading? Possibly. The experts in the field will have to determine the threat. I could ensure the Nightingale never reaches its next destination. That solution doesn't prevent other ships from visiting and spreading the contagion. And the political damage would be far too great if Catherine were to meet with an accident. Her mother is already suspicious. Very well. I'll be awaiting instructions if you feel my skills are required. Looks like they're done. Finally. Close the hold. No problem. King's Arch to transport vessel. This planet is now under quarantine. Land immediately or we will be forced to open fire. How did they find out? I don't know. Maybe it was her. The forces are closing on our ship. The blockade is now in full effect. Do you, Do you think the Navy will attack? Catherine? No. Sorry. I didn't send anything. You said to wait. Raven, what do you think? I think we'd better follow their instructions. They sound serious. King's Arch, this is the Nightingale. We're landing now. What's going on? This planet is infected with an unknown biological organism. We cannot permit anyone to leave and will destroy any ship attempting to do so. Bastards! Nightingale, please repeat last transmission. Stand by. Catherine, are you alright? They'll just kill us, just like they did that Titan. Another slaughter in space. Sorry about that, Captain. Is there a problem? Only the quarantine, which actually explains the odd behavior from the prison staff. They told us to remain sealed in our ship and only expose our cargo hold to the atmosphere. Is there a point to this? We obeyed their instructions. We're not infected, and we can easily vent our cargo hold into space. Transmit your ship's logs, and we'll review the situation. Thank you, Captain. Transmitting now. Think they'll go for it? I hope so. I don't fancy being stuck on this rock until they find a cure. I'm gonna go see what's up with Catherine. What do you have to report, Captain? Admiral, the crew of the Nightingale have asked if they can leave the planet. Apparently they have not opened their interior to the atmosphere. Their system logs verify this. Let them go. However, I want you to maintain the quarantine until a cure can be found. In the future, supplies must be delivered by drop pod only. Catherine? I guess I didn't really help matters earlier, did I? I don't think the captain heard. Are you all right? It's the military that has a problem. When did they get so trigger happy? I don't think many people like it, but what can we do? Can I ask, what happened to your parents? If you don't want to talk about it... No, it, it's alright. It was about ten years ago. My parents went out for the evening. The next day the cops knocked on the door and told me I had to come identify the bodies. I'm sorry. What had happened? My parents had gone into a store as it was being robbed. So someone panicked and they they were both shot. The investigation went on for a while, but all the leads turned out to be dead ends. Eventually they had to move on to newer cases. That's terrible. I thought it wasn't because they couldn't find the killer. I, I thought they just weren't trying hard enough. I couldn't understand how any other case could be anywhere near as important as mine. So they never caught the killer? No. It was just another unsolved crime. And then you met Adam? A few years later, yes. 
He helped me come to terms with it, as we'll help you if you'll let us. Years? I don't think I can stand feeling this way for years. Catherine. Look, I know you're just trying to help, but right now, I, I need to be alone. All right, you know where we'll be. Thank you, Captain. How's Catherine? Resting now. Sometimes I wonder if we took on more than we can handle. That bad? I don't know. I guess she just needs more time. Catherine is smarter than we thought. She found the spyware and deleted it. That will raise her suspicions. My hands are tied. There's nothing I can do yet. Shall I have the spyware reinstalled at their next stop? No, she will only find it again. We'll just have to find another means to track her. <laughs> <laughs>